Gaining customer reviews on Walmart is crucial for improving product visibility and trust. First, review Walmart policies to make sure you do not break rules when getting reviews. There are three primary ways to get reviews. First is just to wait for buyers to give you reviews. Second, leverage review accelerator program in which you pay Walmart to provide incentives to buyers to write reviews for your products. The third idea is to use Walmart review syndication, allowing you to import reviews of your products from your official website. And the best part is that it's free. However, keep in mind that you cannot import reviews from other marketplaces and you need to apply to this program and actually be approved as Walmart wants to make sure that reviews that you will be importing are just real and honest. It may take time for Walmart support to get back to you with help, but you can significantly speed up the process and get help faster if you provide all the necessary data to Walmart in your initial request. For example, if you create a case in which you want to adjust product details, you need to provide SKU of your product, but this should be just one of many information you provide. For example, you should also include UPC, GTIN. You should also add item ID. Now, just before you create a case, you should resubmit your product to Walmart and that will generate a feed ID. And this feed ID you should also include in the case. Always provide Walmart partner ID in your communication. This is the number that you can see in the top left corner of your account. Now, when you're creating those messages, make sure that you write very simple, short messages without too much complicating the case. And also make sure that you are providing all the supporting documents. It really depends on what kind of case you are creating, but for example, screenshots, invoices, um, any supporting documents that you think that Walmart may use to approve your case or to uh, just provide you good support. If your account is terminated, this is usually not possible to get it back. And we suggest to reconsider applying again in about a year. If your account is suspended, then you will receive from Walmart a form to fill out to submit your appeal. First, take your time to fill it out. Show to Walmart that you clearly understand why you were suspended and you will have to provide a realistic and clear plan how you will improve to make sure that you will not make the same mistake again. Suspension usually happens due to late shipments, cancellations, and wrong tracking numbers provided with your orders. That means changing shipping carriers, switching self-fulfillment to 3PL, maybe utilizing WFS and working with solution providers to automate processes might be some good ideas to provide as improvements. Now, Walmart also allows you to upload documents and you can use it to upload things like invoices, your permits and certifications, maybe some photos, anything that may benefit your case. Good luck.